Hey everyone, it's Dirk, founder of Developers Academy. And today in this episode, I would like to show you how you can pick an image from Image Picker Sheet Controller. Now, if you think that Image Picker Sheet Controller sounds really like the one Image Picker Controller, then this one is not. Here's how the project will look like after you complete this tutorial. When we have, um, this one is a screen from our social networking app, Interest. When you click into this guy, pick image, featured image, right? And it will pop up the whole image picker sheet controller. This one looks really, really like the iMessage app. And the wonderful things about this is that the user doesn't have to go to the, um, the whole photo library and pick that one. With this one, they can have the preview, very large image preview in this one. You can pick one, it zooms out to see a very big image. You can select another one, okay? Select different one, okay? And then we can use this guy or we can cancel, right? Now, this one serves really well in a um, social networking app or something like instant messaging app. And in fact, at Developers Academy, we build two different social networking apps. And I really recommend you after this one, check out these two courses, okay? But with this one, let's just focus on this. We want to pick an image, use this one, okay? And click use this one. How we can do this? It turns out it's a really, really complex one to accomplish this kind of UI. We have to use things like collection view, alert view, embedded in different layers. Very, very complex. But the wonderful thing is that there's an open source project on GitHub and the download is right down below. So click the link right down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, then click the description right down below, download the starter project and we'll get started, all right? All right, welcome back. I hope that you download the starter project and now let's get started. With this one, if you look at the project navigator, you see that we have a folder called image picker sheet, okay? With this one, we have tons of code, okay? Only those, all of these files and classes and uh, script files does is it will show up that image picker sheet controller, okay? And also process some of the thing like we pick an image or we can pick multiple images and we can grab that image that the user shows, okay? All it does is just that. It's really, really complex code, but luckily we have that open source project, okay? So let me show you how we can use this. Now again, with this special starter project and this image because she controller, the reason why I made you download that is that we have some of the pre, pre uh, I already built the UI for us. And also inside this image because she controller, I changed the code so that we can only pick and select one image. The original project allows us to select multiple images and it is a good thing if you want the user to do so. So also in the uh, in the folder that you download, you can find out the link to the GitHub project. But this one in our project, I just want the user to select one image, okay? Then um, we can use this guy. Okay, we can use this guy. Just select one image, okay? So now let's learn how to do this. First and foremost, we have to import the photos library. I think I already imported that for you, so that's fine. But in your real project, remember that you will need to import the photos library so that everything works. So when we scroll down below, we have an IB action funk pick profile image. With that one, we will implement all the code that we need, most of all the code that we need to show that image picker sheet controller. So let's do that. First, I want to, um, now, if you recall when we have an image picker controller, we have to ask the user to authorize us to access the photos library. And that's exactly what we have to do first. We have to ask the user to authorize us to access the photos library. So first we will have to let authorization, authorization, and that is ph photo library, and that is in the photos uh, framework, dot authorize status. With that one, we will get the author authorization status of the uh, app. And then we want to check if the authorization equals to not determined, determined, okay? So with this one, we want to ask the user to uh, authorize us to use this 
um, to use the photos library. So let's do this. PH photo library dot request authorization. For that authorization, just press enter, then we have the status, right? Okay. So inside this status, okay, inside this status, because it is not on the main queue, so we want to get back to the main queue. This patch, async, this patch, get main queue. And inside this block, I'm going to write a method. And that one is pick profile image, okay? Okay, because now, if this one requests authorizations, actually, we don't have to write that because it requests authorization. If the user doesn't allow us to use the, uh, already allows us, right? Then we have to call this again so that we can start doing the things we need to do. Okay, it sounds complicated, but let's do this. Okay, we're calling self.pick profile image and we have the tab, okay, which is the tab gesture recognizer. And all it does is, is first it checks if the user allows us to use the authorization or not use the photos library. Okay, if inside this one, if the user allows us, then we will call this once again so that we can show the image because she controller. So after this, okay, we call if authorization equals equals to authorized. Then we want to show the image because she controller. All right? I hope it makes sense, right? First, now, first we call this image picker controller. Uh, pick profile image if you click the button, okay? Then we get the authorization. If the user hasn't allowed us to use, we ask the user, if the user then click, okay, I want you to use the photos library. Then we call that again, okay? We skip the whole thing, we call this again, then we get the authorization. At that time, the authorization will be authorized. And then inside this authorized, we will call the uh, image picker sheet controller, right? All right, so now let's controller equals image picker controller, image picker controller. And for that one, no, not image picker controller, image picker sheet controller. <laughs> and we use the standard um, initializer. And for that one, controller dot add action. Okay. And for that, we'll need an image action, image action. We have the title, we have the uh, comments and secondary title. Okay. So for the title in this one, the title we're going to use NS localized string, localized string. So that the user can have authorized uh, localized code, okay? If you are using it in Switzerland, then you have it in Switzerland, okay? The key is tech photo or a video, okay? How about the comments? The comment is maybe just action title, it doesn't matter, okay? So this is the action, the image action, the title of that guy. How about the secondary title? The secondary title will have the, uh, again, NS localized string. The key is uh, use this one. And the comment is, again, okay, action title. Okay, let's have a space here. All right, how about the style? The style on this one, we don't need the style, so I would just delete like that. The handler in this case, okay, the handler, I would just press enter and in this case, we will not use the image action again, so I will use this underscore, okay? This underscore in, in script, it basically means I don't want it, I just ignore it, okay? The code here, I want to do something else, so just delete that, okay? Just have some, some inners. The secondary handler, first is we have an image action. So let's have an image action, or just an action. The int in this one is the number of photos Okay, recall I tell you that this profile, uh, this open source library allows us to, uh, allows the user to pick multiple images, right? But in our project, I modify the code so that we can only pick one image. If you want to use, pick multiple images, then you can use the original project, okay? But the whole thing is just the same, okay? So now inside this code, we can do something like um, when the user click into that image and we can do controller dot 
get selected images with completion. Press enter, then we have an array of images. Okay, then for this array of images, I can just profile self dot profile image equals images sub zero. Okay, this profile image, where is that? Okay, this profile image is the image view like that. Okay, let me run this. Okay, and also we want to change the profile image view. Shout out profile image view. Actually, it is user profile image view dot image equals oops self dot profile image okay let's, let's look at our project so far all right so here's our project this one doesn't look like the interest screen the create a new interest screen that i show you in the uh, in the previous one in the um, start of the video right but only those is when we click into this one okay then we'll ask the user to to um open up the photos library six select that one assign the photos profile photo into this image okay so let's come back now in that one when we pick some images when the user picks some images we simply get the first image in this case it, we only have one image in your project maybe you want to use the original open source library you can pick multiple images okay in our case we just pick one image all right how about in this one so the first um I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you about the handler and the second ha secondary handler. The first handler is when the user clicks into this action, this take a photo or video, okay? The second handler is um, when the user clicks into choose a use one photo, okay? So for that one, maybe you want to call self.pick uh, profile, no, not self.present camera okay and then I will write another method here func private present camera okay for that one all we do is present the image because controller camera okay instead of just picking from the photo library we'll show you that okay all right here's how here's how the project looks like and then when we click into this one, but nothing happens again. Why is it nothing happens? Well, as it turns out that when we create another an instance of this controller, right? The image because she controller, we add some action to that. We handle the action, but we never show the controller. We never show the image because she controller. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Beneath this one, okay. I'm going to add another action so that the user can cancel this. So I'll add controller dot add action. Okay. The action once again is image action. We have to provide this, the title. The title is uh, NS localized string. Title is cancel. Okay. Comment is again action title, just a comment. The secondary title. Um, for that one, we don't need this secondary title delete that the style is dot cancel okay we want to cancel the controller the handler nil we have two nil handler okay and then we want to call pre present view controller okay just present it as a modally and then this view controller is controller animated true and completion is nil cool so let's run the project once again. Okay, there we go. Very nice. And as we can select some images like that. Okay, okay. You see that first we select that one. Select the photo. It says use this one. We can use that one. Change the image over there. All right. Very nice. All right. We are not done here because 
as the user click into this one, he or she can has another option to take a photo or video. Okay, it means that we have to show the image bigger controller to show the camera, take a photo or video, so that the user and inside our code, we do that in the present camera. But I, I don't want to show you that because I think you already know how to do this. So as a challenge in this one, how about present write the code to present the camera. It all comes really simply. Okay, I will write that code, so I will delete that one. Okay, just present the camera, and then when we, the user picks an image, assign that image to the self.profile image and user profile image view so that he or she can use it, uh, sees it right on the screen. If you have any questions, just feel free to post it right down below. Hey everyone, it's the founder of Developers Academy. In this video, I would love to invite you to Developers Academy monthly. Now, I know that as we start out, we often in time we didn't have any experience, didn't have any programming experience. But so that's why we seek out to courses or programs out there. But the problem is those courses and programs, they didn't offer you the whole experience. Maybe they will teach you the core concepts, but after that, if you want to be real world apps, after that, you want to learn more advanced technologies and skills in iOS, then you are left alone. I think that there's a better way for you to doing this. There's a better experience for you to learn to cut, cut your learning curve so that you jump ahead. Now, before doing that, I want you I want to introduce you to the successful mindset at the Boys Academy that we teach our students. I want you to commit to learning. I know that as you're here, you're so committed to learn and I honor you for you for doing that. So that's why I want you, I want to give you the best strategic curriculum ever, period. This will be the best learning experience for you. You will be real world apps that are so beautiful and very smartly implemented. And I want you to consistently learn. I want you to, I want to give you consistent education every month, every week. And as new technologies roll out, as new concepts and new ideas in iOS roll out, I want you to teach you that. And best of all, I think the best thing is that you'll be able to access to mentor, to someone who already knows doing this, or who already has some experience in iOS that teach you, that give you advices, that when you are stuck, that you will have me as your mentor to help you to get out of the stuck. So now, our program, you will be able to access when you roll out, when you enroll in Developers Academy monthly beneath here, you'll be able to access all of our courses, you will be able to be real world apps with real world tutorials, step by step video tutorials, we have hundreds of those, and as each month will roll out new courses for you. Now, even if you don't have any experience or you already have some, we have courses for you. If you don't have experience, we'll teach you to how to program in Swift and then we'll build some simple apps and we'll move on to more advanced ones. If you already have some experience, we have core concepts, things like table view, collection view, uh, um, animation, if you want to build social networking apps, we have courses for you. If you want to build stuff that fetch data from APIs, parsing JSON, downloading data from internet, we have courses for you. But the best of all is that you, these apps are real world apps. These apps are carefully designed and brilliantly implemented. We want you to build beautiful apps and smartly implemented apps. Write beautiful code. And now, these courses are always up to date. We will enroll. We will roll out new courses every month for you. And as iOS is updated every year and every quarter, even right now, then we will update our courses for you, so that you have the most up to date technology, the most up to date skills and knowledge out there, so that you can build most up to date apps. How cool is that, right? You can access to all of our courses and tutorials everywhere, anytime, whether it's on your iPhone, iPad, or on your MacBook, wherever you want, whenever you want to learn, those courses are there for you. you right now, we have 16 courses, and next month and every month, we'll roll out new courses for you. You can access all current courses and future courses as you are a subscriber. Now, 
these courses will be raw every month for you and this is I think the best way the fastest way for you to jump the learning curve to take you from here to here you see that we even have more courses for you than I can even fit on this screen and every week every month I will roll out new courses for you so that you can update new knowledge and new skills but anytime, at any point in time that you didn't find that you learned the most, that you didn't find satisfied to what you learned, then you can cancel anytime. No harm, no foul, no risk here. I just want to bring you the best, the most affordable and the best experience in learning iOS development. Now, with these courses, we offer to teach you the whole catalog of our courses, but often, these courses are offered at $200 or even more each course. But I think, I think that a better way for you to learn, there's a better and more affordable way for you to learn, to continue this journey, to consistently learn new skills. So I don't think that $200 each course is the best way for you to do this. I think that there's a better way I think that there's a more affordable education for you because I want you to commit to learning. I want you to continue consistently learn new things. I want you to be able to access to mentors. I want you to be able to learn the best knowledge and skills in a very strategic curriculum. So that's why when you enroll in Developers Academy online monthly today, it's just $27 a month. Just $27 a month. $27 a month and you can access to all of our courses. You can access to all of the current courses and future courses. And again, we will roll out new courses for you every month, every week. And you can access me as your mentor. But before you in click the button right down below, can I do one more thing for you? And actually, two more things. I give you some bonuses. First, I want to give you access to our private Facebook group. Here we have been building a community of students, very committed learners just like you. So this is the best chance for you to partner with other students, with other developers, so that you guys can partner together, build the best apps out there. And this really is priceless. There's never, there's no better place for you to partner with someone with the same mindset just like you and have success together. So I want to give you private face, uh, access to our private Facebook group and this is really priceless to me. But again, I want you to be able to access to me as your mentor, to ask me anything. So that's why as you are a subscriber, I will want you to ask me any question forum. And this one, usually we charge our students $5,000 a year to access to me to, to learn new things and to ask any questions. But because this is this has to be the best learning experience for you. So I want you to be able to access to me anytime to ask me any questions. So click the button right down below and I see you over the other side. This is your time. This is the time you decide to learn the best technologies, learn the best skills, build the best apps. This is the time for you to commit to learning and know that you are so committed to learning. So this is the time for you to have the best learning experience, to be able to build real world apps that are beautifully designed and implementing brilliantly. So click the button right down below enrolling in Developers Academy monthly today and I see you over the other side.